What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here. So in today's video, we have a review of PDF Element Express, which is a program that allows you to edit on your Mac any PDF file, including with photos and text, and you can even annotate and so on. So the program we're going to review is this one here, PDF Element Express for Mac. And of course, the program works on Mac OS 10.12, or newer. And you can go ahead and download the free trial if you want to check it out before you purchase it. So let's see how this works without further ado. So the program looks like this. The PDF Element Express is the uh, Express version, the uh, you know quicker version of the PDF Element, which has more bells and whistles and more options for you to modify the PDF files. But PDF Element Express is just for quick modifications and annotations and so on. So I have prepared an article in here I have written on my blog that is in PDF format. And as you probably know, on Mac OS and even on Windows, you cannot edit those files. You can of course use something like Adobe in order to open the file, but if you want to be able to edit it, you have to purchase additional programs. So with PDF Element in here, not only that you can view the file, but you can also modify it as you go. So in order to edit a file, you press in here, file and open, or you simply drag and drop the file in here, and it will open as needed. And I'm going to make this full screen in here, and as you can see, you have images, you have the article, and so on. So normally PDF files are not editable files. So you can't simply edit them like a doc file or docx file and so on or like pages on a Mac. They are final products that you pretty much have and you can print but you cannot modify them without special programs. Well this one in here allows you to organize pages, allows you to comment. For example if I press in here and I open this menu, I have multiple variants to choose from and then you can edit the PDF file and on the edit you can edit images, you can add links, or edit links and you can even edit the text. So if you press in here for example I can now edit the text, I can add text or edit the existing one. So we're going to select in here the spokes and if I want for example to add uh, GeoSnow was here to this PDF I can definitely do so. As you can see my text definitely blends into the thing and PDF element automatically detects the font that is being used and the size and if the font of course doesn't exist on your computer it will try to substitute with the closest matching one which is something good. You can definitely make the um, things a little bit bigger if you want. For example I'm going to make this one bold and it does work and this is of course text from the PDF. It's not text that I added. If I want to make this title in here to be another font for example I'm going to select this one in here, it can definitely do so. So it's easy to modify the text. But now let's talk about images. Well, as you can see, I do have an image in here, down in here. And if I want to downscale it or to replace it, I go in here on edit PDF and I go to edit image mode. So in here, I can also add an image or I can select an existing one and do something like this, you know, to minimize it, to make it bigger on the PDF file just like it's a normal editable document when of course in fact a PDF document is not editable. So it's pretty easy to do so you can definitely add images if you want and of course you can edit and add links. So I'm going to go ahead and here you can go to page view or open a web page. So we're going to press in there and I can definitely put a link in here for example and as you can see I can make it a little bit bigger and it asked me to open a web page so I can say www.google.com and there you go. So I can add the web page and it would open a web page when I click in there. Now, the idea of editing PDF would be nothing if we cannot highlight things in here. For example, I want to send this document out, but I want to ensure that some parts of it are eye catching. So for example, I can go ahead and take the pencil and literally draw something like, for example, I can select this whole part in here and draw something over it and I can definitely do something else if I want. You can of course uh, change the thickness of this. I can make very thick lines and if I don't want them I can you know undo and you have opacity and color. You can select different colors for that and if we go back in here we'll also have strike through and if you do that you can select the color for example red and I want to strike through the remember word in here. So we want to do that, we select it and it's now stricken. So this is how you do it. We go back in here and we have the text box where we can add some text. We have shapes that we can select and you can select between rectangle, oval and lines and arrows. For example, I want to point to something in here like that and we go ahead in here and do this and there we go we have arrows and so on so if i want to point to something i can definitely do so you can change the thickness of that as well then you have text comment you have sticky notes that you can apply and i'm going to apply one of this color in here um, and of course you can make this one a little bit bigger and once you do that you can open it and say 
do not forget doesn't matter what just don't forget it so when they press in here in the document this will pop up and of course they will see do not forget that and you have the date and the person who added the sticky note which is something important in my opinion because you can definitely make commenting easier then you have stamps in here with various signs and with various arrows and so on for example if this one is a draft i can definitely do this i can put the draft mark in there and i can make it bigger like that and they would know it's just a draft and so on then you have the signature in here which is definitely allowing you to go ahead and sign a document for example i'm going to say um i don't know g whatever in here and this is let's say my signature and i can put it at the end of the document or if there is a signing field i can definitely put it in there i can make it smaller if i want by going here to resize it and the document is now signed so it's definitely easy to do modifications to the document and it's very easy to do so then you can even underline if you want for example i want to underline this word in here we do that and it's underlined with various colors if you want for example green we do this in here and it's of course underlined so a lot of things that you can do and it's definitely a good idea to check out this program if you want to especially if you're working a lot with documents and so on you can register check for updates and see help supporting here and this is for zooming out and zooming in if you want to see the document closer and this is for actual size and here you have the right panel containing various stuff like the pages that appear in here and you can edit the pages uh, number you can definitely change them and you know put a page in front of another and so on and it's definitely a good idea you can even insert a blank page in the document if you want to i can insert one and there we go we have a blank document page and we can definitely edit it i can go ahead in here on edit on text mode and i'm going to say add text and there we go we're pressing here and i can start adding a lot of text if i want to i can match the font if i need to and i can add more pages to the same document of course you're going to follow the same font that is already in the document or you can change the whole font as well so that is pretty much it with pdf element express in my opinion it's a very very good product that allows you to change and modify of course a lot of pdf files very quickly and if you take a look in here now all the modifications that i done are in the pdf file and we also have this in here that says do not forget so we have the notes and so on and at the end we have the um, signature that I made so let me check it out in here and there we go this is it so you can definitely modify the pdfs it's very easy and you don't have to purchase very very expensive tools to do so so yes pdf element express for mac it's a good idea if you want to check it out they also have pdf element the uh, windows version and the pdf element for mac and the difference between the express one and the normal one is that the normal one has even more customizations and templates and so on it's more geared toward businesses and so on and then of course you also have the ios and android applications available and some templates if you want to check them out in here the support is also available so you can definitely check them out down below if you want to check them out the link is in the description thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i'm geosnow peace out